Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin. Ken, how you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another knife of the day. If you hear a fan in the background, I apologize, but it is hot in my apartment. My apartment is switched to heat and it's 80 degrees inside. So I have a fan. So um, I'm going to run it. I had been turning it off during these videos and then sweating all over the place. So I've kept it on. So I apologize if you get that background noise. But I wanted to rush these to you. I just got these. These are the brand new Endura and Delicas from Spydeco with Damascus and black and gray Zome FRN scales. Now, this is a distributor exclusive. It's from Sportsman um, Supply. And the reason I don't really talk about Sportsman Supply, you might want to try them on .com, but what they usually do is they do a distributor exclusive from Spydeco, which means limited. They're usually around 600 or so, but they distribute it to every place. I've seen them on Blade HQ, not these, but I've seen them everywhere. So uh, you can check online. I'm not sure if they have them and they may pop up on your regular knife place. But I'm so happy to have these because these are really unique. Now, Spydeco has done Endoras and Delicas with Damascus before. Let me put the Delica down and talk about, I mean, the Endora down. That's the Endora. This is the Delica. Now, they have done them in the past before. Most of the time, they have been full flat ground blades. And what they do is they take BG-10 as the core. You see in the middle? That's the core. It's VG 10 steel. And then on each side, what they do is they take 15 layers of stainless steel to make that pattern. 15 layers on that side, 15 layers on that side. So including the core, 31 layers of stainless steel. Okay, you see the core? See that? Same thing with the Endora. That's how they handle the VG-10 Damascus. Now, the reason I say this is different is, let me give you another. Now, this is the Endora. Let me give you another Endora. You see when it's full flat ground? All of the Damascus that I've had with VG-10 as the core out of the Japanese Spydeco knives have looked like this. You see how uniform it is? But look at the Damascus on this. Look how beautiful. This is a saber ground, not a full flat ground blade. And so now you're getting the difference in that Damascus pattern. You can see with the grinds, the difference. Let me get a little closer. So you get the lines on the bottom part, that full flat ground part, but look at it, it's like different chips of the steel layered all around it. This is to me the most beautiful Damascus that Spyderco has done on one of these Japanese knives, actually on any of the knives that I've seen from them. I've only seen one Damascus blade that wasn't Japanese, and that was, you know, I have the 40th anniversary native. But look how beautiful that is. Again, saber ground as opposed to the full flat ground, but really beautiful. Let me put these down. Get a tighter shot for you guys. So now, of course, we've talked about the Endora and the, De and the Delica. It's been around for a very long time for Spydeco, one of their best sellers. You know, Spydeco really 
at the core core, now you can argue with me, obviously, but at the core core, they have this Japanese lineup of knives. The Endora, the Delica, you know, um, and all of those. And then they have the U.S. line, right? And at the end, I'm going to compare these to two, the U.S. line. And that's the military, paramilitary, two, para three, Mannix, two, etc. The um, Delica, one of the knives that I always recommend to folks um, as their first knife or after the value folder, if they want to upgrade a little, I always say, Go with the Delica, great EDC knife, 2.9 inch blade, 7.1 inches only. And with the FRN scales, just 2.5 inches. They did, Spydeco did the lightweight treatment on the Delica and Endora really early, <laughs> really early. You know, we're hearing about it on the US side, right? with the paramilitary and all of those. But on the Japanese side, they've been using FRN scales for a very long time. The Endora, that's the larger one, the standard. If you want a larger knife, right? 3.7 inches, 8.7 inch total, and 3.7 inches for the weight before a knife like this regular clip four-way clip right hand left hand tip up tip down back lock very strong back locks on the delica and the endora and then what they did not only with this really nice i'm calling it special damascus because i love what it looks like but they put it on a Zume, Z-O-M-E, Zume, FRN scales. These are black and gray. What they do is they take a gray FRN scale and then they hand paint the black. It's a Japanese art, hand painted, so no two are alike. And they give you that nice look on it. We're talking about two really nice knives. Again, not the first time Spydeco has done Damascus on the Endura and the Delica, but oh, that Damascus is beautiful. To me, and I've owned a lot of these, right? It is the best. Let's compare the sizes. Here's a paramilitary two. Try to line up the blades. Come out a little bit more. And here's a pair of three. Again, nice three inch blade. Whoops. So that gives you a comparison. These are really nice if you can find them. They are new on eBay. I've seen several people post them on eBay. So if you can't find them any other place and you're interested in grabbing a couple, you might want to try there. But there you have it. Brand new Spydeco Endura and Delica with this wonderful Damascus blades. Saber ground, and that's what makes the difference between the Damascus. And of course, that black and gray, I love that color, Zume. FRN scales, hand painted. Again, gray FRN scales, that's how they start the artistic process in Japan. And then they hand paint, in this case, the black. So each one is unique. There you have it. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of knives I want to show you. So you can expect a lot of them coming this week. I appreciate all of you. Subscribe. Turn on notifications so you know when I post them. I appreciate all of you. 
Take good care of yourselves. Stay healthy. Appreciate you all. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.